Hello everybody, this is Derek and the National Football League starts the playoffs. Last year I did predictions on every playoff game. The first round was the worst one and I'm going to try to improve that this year. And I'm thinking this as a form of investing. And you would be saying, no, no, no. If you're trying to pick a sports team to win, it's not an investment. It's a gamble. Well, yes, of course it's a gamble. But investing is gambling. If you were to buy stocks, you're gambling. You might call it investing, and the mainstream media is going to tell you it's investing. But, it, 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 but it's gambling. I don't see it as really investing or gambling, but calculated gambling. And I'm going to start it off with the New York Jets and the Cincinnati Bengals. And the Bengals are favored by two and a half points. Last week, the Jets destroyed the Bengals in New Jersey. This game will be played in Cincinnati. And I'm expecting a uh, reversal. I think the Bengals are going to take this by at least six or seven points. I don't think the Jets are for real. They had the Indianapolis Colts that gave them a win, and then the Cincinnati Bengals that I only can believe gave them the victory. What the Jets have on their side is they got Revis, who is probably the, probably the best corner in the National Football League. He has stopped every single wide receiver. Chad Ochocinco is going to be no different. I'm not expecting much from him. Maybe about three catches for about 40 yards if even worse than that possible, but I still think that they are going to be winners. I'm expecting uh, the running game of uh, Cedric Benson to do very well. He didn't play last week. Carson Palmer, he didn't look well last week, but I'm expecting it to be much better. And I think the big reason for that is because of Mark Sanchez. Sanchez is a rookie quarterback, and something I never do is bet on a rookie quarterback in the playoffs. I think Joe Flacco won last year with Baltimore, and I lost on that bet. But rookie quarterbacks, generally speaking, don't do well in the playoffs. And Cincinnati's defense is uh, very explosive, too. They can make some big plays, and I don't think the Jets are going to score much more than 10 points in this game. I'm looking at a game about 21 to 13 in favor of the Cincinnati Bengals. Next up, we got the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys are favored by four. I like the Eagles plus four, and I barely like them in this game. I'm predicting uh, the Cowboys to win this game by three. Three is a very common score, but the spread is just a little too high. Tony Romo has yet to show us that he is a playoff quarterback. He is 0-2, I think, in the playoffs right now. And uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, they're weak on the running back position. That's the one thing that I'm not, not a big fan of. But Donovan McNabb, who I think is the uh, worst championship quarterback in the National Football League, is amongst the best of the wild card and divisional round, meaning... Donovan McNabb is the guy you want to get to the conference final, but he's not the guy you want to win it with. So I'm going to go with the Eagles uh, against the uh, Dallas Cowboys. Next up, we got the Baltimore Ravens against the New England Patriots. The Patriots are favored by three and a half points. And I think the Ravens are going to win this game outright. So I'm taking Baltimore plus the three and a half points. I'm looking at Ray Rice in Baltimore. I think he's uh, going, going to be able to have a pretty decent day against the New England Patriots. Tom Brady, very, very hurt. He's lost his go-to receiver in Wells Welker. He is the absolute best West Coast uh, wide receiver that there is. In any given day, you would expect him to get nine catches for 80 yards to 100 yards. That uh, production, I think, is it's going to be gone, period. And Joe Flacco is a uh, very good quarterback. He did well last year in the playoffs. And Baltimore, historically, this previous decade, did very well. I'm going to go with the Ravens, plus the three and a half points. The final game is the Green Bay Packers against the defending NFC champion, Arizona Cardinals. Arizona favored by one point. And I'm going to take the Packers in this one. 
Aaron Rodgers, I think, is one of the top quarterbacks in the National Football League. I think he was the best this year. Everyone talked all season about the top quarterbacks. You got Peyton Manning, who's doing so good. You got Brett Favre. You got Tom Brady. But they never really talked too much about Aaron Rodgers, who was amongst the top fantasy quarterbacks in the National Football League. Not only can this guy throw the football, but he can also run the ball, too. He's good for about 20, 25 rushing yards a game, and he can get you a rushing touchdown every four or five games. So he's got that extra added uh, incentive. Uh, the running quarterback is just so powerful. I mean, he's not Michael Vick by any means, but Michael Vick is no Aaron Rodgers in passing either. And you look at the wide receivers that uh, Green Bay has got. I mean, there's like five different go-to guys that uh, they have. It's not just uh, Donald Driver and Greg Jennings. They got Jermichael Finley. They got Jones. They got a very good offensive team. And I love their linebackers of Nick Barnett, A.J. Hawk, and uh, who's that other guy? Because they drafted some other guy recently. But they got three very good linebackers. I don't think the Arizona Cardinals are going to uh, show as much uh, against the Green Bay Packers. I'm expecting about a 31-24 uh, victory in favor of the Green Bay Packers. Next week, we have games in Indianapolis, San Diego, Minnesota, and New Orleans. I will comment on four picks for next week, and I'm also going to point out how it is you beat the Indianapolis Colts, and my prediction on if the team that plays the Colts will actually use this strategy. I don't think they will, but I will explain to you how to beat the Colts next week. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.